Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of the MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. And in this segment, just kind of going to go down some of the headline news of national and international responses to the victory of uh, Donald Trump. He will now be our 47th president if uh, if all goes as planned uh, come next next year uh, january uh i want to say 20th and one of one of the headlines i saw was you know the stock markets are surging and he hasn't done anything but there's a reason why they're surging and, and what i mean by that is you know at work we were joking around about our 401ks already starting to look better but uh dow jones NASDAQ, S&P, a lot of this stuff hinges on on feelings and, and, and future. And, and Trump's already threatened to remove regulatory, uh, stifling regulatory uh, measures that, that kind of hinder companies from growing and expanding and being profitable, we'll say, since, since being profitable is so evil and wicked. And I don't know if it's my imagination, but I, I, I'll, I'll tell you, I think I've even seen gasoline creep down a few pennies also. Um, yeah, it went it went down to in my area and I pay more than you do because I you live in an urban area. I live in a in the woods, but I saw it as low as three nineteen. But I see it, it's crept up in my area about another 10 cents to three twenty nine again. So it's crept back up. Yeah. OK, well, I'm this morning I paid. 266 but remember wow. i'm yeah 266 but remember i'm a bj's member so yeah. uh, and then i use the bj card which i pay off immediately because i don't want them to make interest off me but uh so yeah i paid 266 this morning you know it a lot of the stuff it's like you know you have a promising future so you're inclined to make money with a promising future you know right uh, on to the next uh, headline uh, here. <laughs> Chuck Schumer begs Republicans to embrace bipartisan legislation as GOP <laughs> blowout means total Senate control. Oh, yeah. Well, they, so, always, they, they always want bipartisan when they're in the uh, minority. Uh, yeah. When they're not, they take, uh, you know, they, they take the, uh, the advice of Chester Nimitz, uh, Admiral, World War II Admiral. Uh, when in command, command. The Republicans seem to not understand that concept, and I wish they'd get it through their thick skulls. Uh, next one, and this is just in general because <laughs> there's been an in general meltdown. Celebrities are having a very hard time dealing with Trump's epic victory. Uh, so a lot of them are are uh, shutting down their Twitter X accounts. You know, Joy Reid or whoever. Don Lemon, uh, you got celebrities. Uh, w- the one that comes to mind immediately is Ava Longoria. She's already moved to Spain and uh, Spain or Mexico. I, you know, I first she said Mexico and then I thought she said Spain. So she's in one of them countries. No, nah, she didn't move to Mexico. I guarantee you that. Well, then it's probably Spain. Well, but, you know, Spain, uh, is a, Spain is a first world country. Uh, Mexico is a third world country. She went to Spain, I'm sure. Uh, Ex MLB uh, pitching star Roger Clemens had an, had uh, something to say about it. His comment was, "Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out." <laughs> yeah. So I guess Roger Clemens is a Trump supporter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, back back to international news. Uh, Iran's currency has hit an all time low. Just now that you know. Now that he is now president elect, all of a sudden Iran's currency, goes, you know, takes a nosedive, you know, um, I, you know, I, I didn't realize this so much, but I guess uh, the German government was kind of uh, at the whims of the, the Biden administration because because now they're uh, I guess their support has collapsed. Vladimir Putin. They are not abandoning the U.S. dollar in international trade. And that, part of the that's, reason, that's the best news we could get. Yeah. And I guess the primary reason for that is Trump threatened a 100 percent tariff on anyone not using the U.S. dollar in trade. <laughs> so, uh, you know, 
and, and he, like I said, all he did was make a threat. He's not even well, in the, office. The demise of the British Empire, I do believe, came uh, from the, the world going to the dollar away from the pound. And, and that's why they had uh, no pull or no punch around the world anymore. Uh, let's see. DOJ. Here, here's, here's a headline. Panic. Career DOJ prosecutors terrified and losing their minds after Trump landslide, landslide looking to exit rather than sticking around. Yeah, yeah, you, you it probably probably behoove you to get the hell out of Dodge. Well, know? I think he needs to to, to uh, tear a page out of Barack Obama's book. Who and Barack Obama fired three hundred of those people. So well, uh, you know, no, he didn't want anybody looking into his school records, so he got rid of them. Trump should do the same. Multiple news agencies are uh, beginning to tank. MSNBC, and I don't know what's going to happen with MSNBC, but but I keep hearing rumors about they're going up for sale. Uh, and there's a list. There's a list of how much how badly the ratings have tanked. And I'm just going to go down this list very quickly. Morning Joe down 39.6 percent. Well, the first hour. Second hour is down 36.9%. Andrea Mitchell, she's down 39.7%. And Ari Melber, and I don't know he or she, whoever this Ari is, down 49.6%. Joy Reid. Ari is a male name. What's what's that? Ari Ari is a male name, so I'm guessing it's a man. Joy Reid, the one who was referencing Matt Gates as a clown, I do believe. Joy Reid. She's down 54.6 percent. All in with Chris Hayes. And I can't stand that guy. He's a never Trumper. Uh, He's down 47.2. And an Alex Wagner, whoever Alex is, he's down 53.6 percent. Basically, the the thought is there's no way when when you're down 50 percent, when you're down 40 to 50 percent, you're not staying on the air. I, I know in I know in radio you'd be you'd be dust if you did that. Uh, you know what? There are plenty of people that would want those jobs. Uh, Joy Reid is a black supremacist and a blatant racist. Uh, she needs to go. No one, no one. You know they have no credibility. None of none of the people you mentioned have credibility because especially Scarborough, who is a proven liar. Yeah. Him and his, him and his goofy wife. And you know you talk about someone being pussy whipped. <laughs> You know, a uh, couple more names I, I had on my second page here. Lawrence O'Donnell down 60 percent. Stephanie Rule down 67 uh, percent. Los Angeles owners, far left editorial board. Uh, you know, they're they're saying, oh, well, n- now we're going to start getting facts when our news reporting, blah, 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 well, blah. I love I that because they're admitting they weren't factual before. Yeah. And there's uh, just propaganda for the Democratic Party. I the the next news uh, news uh, t- headline here was, and they didn't necessarily give any names, but they're just saying top stars at CNN on chopping block as network may fire hundreds after Trump landslide victory. Well, I'll tell you one person they need to keep is that Scott Jennings. Uh, that that guy. Well, yeah, I, I think he's probably safe. Yeah, he ought to have his own show. That, that guy's single handedly taking it to all their goofball panels uh you know and there were there was one other guy uh, uh, a black guy he uh, he he seemed to be talking some reason too it, it, and i and i remember the one clip you know he he mentioned about the uh, boys shouldn't be playing girls and girls sports and and someone at the table had a hissy fit to put it mildly and accused him of using slanderous language and everything else. Scott Jennings was sitting there listening to it all, and they zoomed in on Scott Jennings' face, and he could he couldn't even keep a straight face. He basically started breaking out into laughter at at the immaturity of the of the guy having his little hissy fit, all well, because he the very fact that they're having hissy fits. I mean, I didn't cry when Joe Biden won. I wasn't happy, but I didn't cry. Uh, Here's a news headline, and and I, I got to tell you, for those into older programs from from years gone by, Hollywood's 98 year old Dick Van Dyke suggests he would rather die 
than endure another four years of Trump in the White House. Dick Van Dyke. Well, you know what? Here's you the know? thing. Uh, let me quote Charles Dickens from Scrooge. Well, if he wants to die, perhaps he should get on with it. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, not not that I not that I was a diehard Dick Van Dyke fan or or loved watching his well, stuff. It just for all my life, I, I like the guy, but I never heard him say a peep about politics. He's ninety eight. He's probably senile. Who knows? Who knows uh, if he even said it? Yep. Uh, let's see. Judges postpone J six trials and and sentencing since. There is the theory that Trump's going to come in with a clean sweep and take care of that nonsense. Here's one. I'll believe it when I see it. And personally, I could care less if this even happens. Honestly, ABC News reportedly desperate to add pro-Trump voice to The View. You know what? Well, who wants to go there and get beaten up by those? It's, it's, it's too late. It's, it's, it's too late. I, you know, take the show off. Take the show off. Let, well, you know, I, there, I can't a rumor even stand that, watching uh, Star Trek anymore because of Whoopi. You know, there's a uh, there's a rumor that Elon Musk was interested in buying ABC News for forty or twenty billion. I bet those bitches were blowing their diapers at that prospect. But uh, that's that's just there. There's more news out there. I mean, uh, we could go on for hours with all the headlines that are out there. Those those were just the ones that caught my eye, and uh, and you know you th- you think. And Trump hasn't even been sworn into office yet. And and the 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 meltdown, you know, if, if it wasn't so sad, it'd be comical. So that's all I got, un- unle- unless anything comes to your mind. No, that's about it. All right. OK, well, we'll catch you guys in the next segment. Thanks, everyone. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me. <laughs>